Right then, I've, I do change my plans quite a bit. Now, this one, that is a beautiful, beautiful route with the stream, with the hills and the, the possibility of deer if you go up there. I had to make a decision. I'm still not really totally decided because I like both routes. If I take this, this one here, I'd do a gradual climb up and get on the top. If I do this one, I sort of go down into the Weakham Coombe and a gradual, it's still a gradual climb until the very last minute. Um, I thought because it was such a nice day, I might go up and see the views from above. So I'm going to have two coombs because I've got the Holford Coombe, Hodder's Coombe, Shepherd's Coombe to do, and I've also got Bicknoller Coombe to do later. So I'm going to go up and do some um, high up footage. There's always time to do. It. I've done all these routes before, us, so and there's no no worry about it. I think oh, what I want to do is get up get up high and just nice and nice and gradual nice and gradual climbing and that's why I like walking alone as well actually because I have got some breathing difficulties um, which needs an inhaler now and again and also I like to be able to stop when I want to without putting pressure on other people. I'm not a fast walker. I, w I used to be until something happened to my lungs. I did get that SARS at time in the early noughties, uh, 2002, 2003. I, and it affected my, my lungs then. Anyway, I, I want to do this hill. So I'm going to do it and I know I can stop as much as I like. The thing is, if I was with somebody who wanted to walk fast and didn't have any patience, it just wouldn't work. If I walk with somebody who I knew really wanted to go quicker, that would worry me as well. So this is a nice steady climb. This is part of a plantation deliberately created and this would have been well sculptured and tidied in the past this track I'm going up it would have been like one of those 18th century garden paths so common in those days so a nice gentle climb up and then we'll be doing, because it's a nice day, we don't need to worry about the shelter for the coom would offer us. And it is beautiful down here, believe me. We can be exposed today. I've taken my jumper off. I've got very lightweight walking trousers on. Um, I haven't tucked them into my socks yet. I should do, really. Because it ticks. I find they get in anyhow. But that's a bit of air in, tell the truth. I'm going to tuck them in. I will tuck them in next time I stop when I have a drink of water. Right, so this is Sheila. I'll just do a brief video of myself walking up the hill. Slightly breathless. Just trying to get used to the rucksack. It's going to be a hot day and I'll be grateful for Holford Coombe, Hodder's Coombe when I get to that stage an hour or so time. We just checked the time now. We got off the bus just after 10 o'clock. It was late, the bus. It's now 20 to 12 already. So, is it 20 to 12 already? No way. Yes, it is. 
Right. What we do when we get up this big hill, it'll be. I'm not going up to the beacon because that is a big steep climb and walking around it. Right. It's just going to be enough time, I reckon, to get to Holford for the picnic and back. That's all to say. I can see the bias. Get, we're getting there. Right, over and out for now.